What a beautiful way to start the morning. You see, as I dress now, I, I'm on black and black. And I can tell you legitimately, I demand the Nigerian economy. But then, uh, there is smile at the end of the tunnel. So when I say smile at the end of the tunnel, it means say, I bring you the best of the stories we got to do with your business, your money, and even the economy at large. So you can understand everything where they happen for those three aspects. And those three aspects, you see, they use affect me and they affect yourself. So you, I won't make you sit down. Maybe you find one place to where your remote put. Because the next 15 minutes, we will carry you on a roller coaster ride into the world of business. And you know how they always bring them. And they bring you all of the stories. And more, more, more jump enter the first story. Number one story, and um, it got to do with Ogun State. Ogun State don't cut down 30% discount from all land charges. And uh, the 30% discount from all land charges means, say, if you be an entrepreneur, they don't look and say, entrepreneurs, they suffer. Man, how if you use assist these people? Business persons, they suffer for the state. How if you use assist this set of people? And they don't talk, say, okay, if you get land, we get more than five hectares. If you get up to five hectares of land within the state, and you know, say, Ogun State, they round Lagos State. So most of these companies, they get their factories for there. And they don't talk, say, they go reduce all of their land charges by 30%, in a way to just make sure, say, everybody balance during this um, coronavirus pandemic. And you see, saying a very, very amazing Amazing thing. Because why? It go assist, it go assist the entrepreneurs, it go assist the business persons where they, they land, and it go affect everywhere. Money go did people pocket more in, more out. And the talk say if you get plans also to buy land from this state, make you make sure say, you make a necessary payment before the te before 31st of December because now then this offer go day valid last until then now this offer go day valid and that way you go feel enjoy the 30% discount from the Ogun State government and from Ogun State now we fly enter Abuja where we get CBN headquarters and you know as CBN they do CBN they don't come out they don't talk say <laughs> Around six, like about six subsectors, nine day very, very okay. Six out of 14 subsectors. So imagine, say, six out of 14. It means that we get like eight. We know they do very, very well. And if we get like eight, we know they do very, very well. What do you guys do? You guys pay attention to those sectors because now if you get investment for them, maybe you know how you go use, hmm, navigate your way around. Because if you don't navigate your way, your way around, where, where, you go see, say, hmm, if you lose out in some investment and if you lose your funds. And all these sectors are going to listen for you. Number one, now the non metallic sector. So when they talk of the non metallic sector, things we know get to do with iron. Things we don't get to do, do with rod, iron rod, all of those, all those sectors. And the next one is cement. You know how cement be cement, they do very well right now at this point in time. If you ask me how it, wait, uh, why, it, why, it, why they talk so, it means that people, they build more, more houses. It means say, the real estate industry, they thrive at this point in time. And people, they use, they try as much as possible to hedge their funds, meaning say that they keep their money for inside things where they're very tangible for assets like the real estate. And the next sector where they might listen and say, the transportation industry, you see, say, as they don't open the economy, they don't talk, say, many people, they come outside right now. You can see, say, this sector, they do very, very well. And right now, people don't, they try come outside, they try to attend to one or two Things, things where they no see, where, where they no feel attend to during the lockdown, and it affect the sector at large. You see, say the textile industry, anything where you guys, where you they do, you guys wear clothes. I mean, no feel come outside naked. If not, they go tie rope for your for your leg. But then you go see, say this sector they try, and this sector they try as we both used to come. So if you they look for places where you feel invest your money, if you look, if you they look for businesses where you feel start. Based on all this index, if you say that sector is a very good sector, where you say you could put your money inside. And the food industry, yes, man, that, that industry now one very unique industry. Any day, any time, you gas job. You know how to be, you gas job. So the food industry, they say the food industry, they try, they, they do very, very well. And when we come out for there, out from one CBN matter, enter another CBN matter, as CBN governor, Godwin Emefiele, it don't come out, it don't tell foreign investors. Now, when I say foreign investors, foreign investors, foreign portfolio investors, it don't tell them. Say, make their beg, get the confidence. May they not fear at all at this point in time. Because most of them no longer enter Niger. They, they fear, say, oh, if they enter the dollar to the naira, all of all these things where they fluctuate, you know, go switch them for body. But CBN now don't. 
pump money enter the banks. So as they don't pump money enter banks, they don't tell um, foreign portfolio investors, FBIs, and that one means say people where they obodo you but we won't come inside we country, come invest inside we country. You go see say a very very amazing thing with CBN they do. So they don't pump money enter the banks. Tell those investors say make you they rest assured. Say our naira go they balanced with the dollar very soon. And as they don't tell them, you go see say very soon. These foreign investors could they flock into the country and more money, more forex go day inside the system. When I say forex, foreign, forex means foreign exchange. And so forex, now we they use cash out and forex, now we they use measure the GDP where they across board, all of the countries where they across board. GDP now say, hmm, how did they use and measure the economic activities where they happen for we country? If they sell anything where they sell, it they affect the GDP. If they buy anything where they sell, it they affect the GDP. So you go see, see now buying and selling. Now that small business where you get for that talk shop where they street. Now that small business where Aboki get, that Malam where get small, small kiosks for that street. You go see, see all of all these things, they, in the joint body, they affect the GDP. And this thing are very palatable news for the foreign direct investors. And next matter we did for here, we say, Western investment. Hmm. As we talk about foreign investors, this one's now about foreign investors again. They don't come in, they don't carry about five billion dollars. When I say five billion dollars, they, they won't pump in, enter that this power sector. You know, see, for like 600 years now, we never get light. <laughs> oh, you know, as it they be for this country, we and power. Either on one issue, either they reduce tariff or they increase tariff or they thought say something to our dam. But not right now, all of all these foreign investors don't look say a huge opportunity for this country. And if not a huge opportunity for Nigeria, make we enter there, make we see what we feel do for this power sector, make we see how we feel use invest, make sure say the power sector come back to how we supposed to be. Because as citizens, you can see say you day entitled to 24-7 power supply. Because power supply now they help most, now they drive most of these things where they happen for we economy. You can see, say, if light day, most things go to work. If light day, you can feel, find one or two things do with the light way day. And they don't talk, say, as they, they come in, they, they pump in five billion dollars. Now, now, Minister of Power, now he talk this one. Now, he, as he open mouth, he talk this one. He talk, say, did they bring in this money and what thing they won't use do? No be the normal usual, no be the usual um, power we say we always know. Now renewable energy. When I say renewable energy, it means say now energy we say you go renew, you go renew, you go use, 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 use. So they you no go finish. When I say you no go finish, it means say you no go finish for titi lie lie. Hmm. So when I say you no go finish, you understand what I mean. So renewable energy, they don't talk say now what they want you to come invest for this country. So it just be like make you say the sun go finish. No. The sun no fit finish. So they want to invest inside solar, invest into things where we say, you know, go they bring out gas emission. So when I say gas emission, it means you know, go they destroy the atmosphere, you know, go they destroy the air, and it's eco friendly, it's friendly to your health, and it's friendly to my health. Now, waiting with the call the sun, now waiting with the call renewable energy. And this renewable energy is a very good thing for the power sector because it go balance things up, and you go see, say, lights go improve. And the last story with the year, we say, we get a lot, a lot of um, directives from federal government, and federal government don't issue directive. Give all of all the filling stations, and as they don't give them directive, they don't talk. Say make about six thousand filling stations. Make all of them make sure say they get gas facilities. So the gas facilities mean say how we go use duan, how. We when will they get, when, when people they go about with their daily endeavors, when people they try cook, they try understand how to use, use gas, but they go in one filling station where they here, and the filling station no get gas facilities, man, it is very, very painful. So they don't talk, say, make filling station invest in gas facilities, so that when citizens, they come around the filling station, they go to fill up their gas, and you know, they very, very taxing. It go they easy for them. They could just fill up their gas, continue to the use to the cook. And you go see, say, now welcome development in the petroleum industry and the petroleum industry now industry we say most of us they invest in now industry we say the whole nigeria economy rely on we pray say by the time as time they go we go soon they diversify enter other industries and you know as we they always do and for yeah i they leave you with very very small tip 
for you to understand your money in a better way. And this small tip we say we get today. Now, five things where if you're in your 20s, do they look say you day wild and free? But then no, you know really they wild and free because in no distant time, before you know, time don't reach, you don't clock 30. Before you know, time don't reach, you don't clock 40. Before you know, you don't clock 50. And you need to understand all about these money, money tips. So that when you enter your, when you as you day your 20s now, if you listen to me, you day your 20s, or even you day your early 30s, you go feel apply this thing especially at this point in time so that when you when you don't hold you go see say money go still day your system and the number one thing we say i won't make you understand we say i won't make you the end N and N, and they call them three E's. Because if you did N, N, and N, it means say anything with your hand fine to do. Make you make sure say you did drum now because money know that the system. So any small hustle, any side hustle. Now the time where we say you feel experiment as a young individual. Now the time where we say in your twenties you feel just try. Okay, you see this business, you try and you go know if now something where we say they in sync with you, they in sync with the environment, they in sync with the market, and you go feel the cash out more, 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 more money. If even if you get job now something. We say if you use find one side hustle make you do and the number two thing we say I won't make you understand we say make you they save hmm. I they always talk and many time where I come here we say saving make you they save no matter how much you they earn I know say it did very very difficult especially when you they earn minimum wage but then even at that make you make sure say even your your ten percent if you carry ten percent make you just they save for one corner because you never can tell. When the economy, when we go enter recession, like they don't, already, they don't already predict. Say very soon we go enter recession. But I won't make you pay attention to savings. Make sure say you they save. You get some kind of apps with they right now. We say if you they save automatically. So all of the, all of all these things go build discipline. And the last one and the number three thing we say I want to make you understand. We say make you also they invest. As you they carry that money they save. Not just they keep them for one place. If you keep one million naira. And you go back in the following months, meet that one millionaire. You go see, say that one millionaire, and every one millionaire. Even if for your balance, you see one millionaire, inflation go down increase. It go down affect the value of that money. So I want to make you make sure, say, hey, as you they save, make you the channel that money where you they save, enter investment. There are different kind of investment where if you do in your twenties, if you buy stocks, if you buy bonds, if you buy treasury bills, and these things don't be very easy because the SEC they don't make sure say Nigerians get access to investment and try make make the Try do how things feel use better their own economy with their pockets. You know, say if you open your wallet, you're gonna see money for there. And the last, the number four thing we say I want make you they understand, be say make you avoid debt in your twenties. So when I say debt, I mean say make you know the old base here and there. Make you know go here, borrow here, go here, borrow here. Even if you get project, make you make sure the debt where you they borrow they very very interest friendly. And the last thing we they here be say I want make you understand. Say the only way we say you feel gamble, now money we say you, you prepare your mind to lose. So it means they make you avoid gambling because now gambling, then they destroy most people for their twenties. And you know as we they bring on to you, we they bring you the best of stories where they around the, the best of stories where they around your business, your money, and the economy at large. I want to make you sit down, make you find one place to read that remote because the good morning like that show still continues. And you know my name remains frankly frank. If you follow me on social media at Fagba Frank on all platforms and we go get amazing time on top of the money matter. Thank you very much. Make sure you stay profitable in anything way they do.